Hi, everyone. A new setup, I know. So my partner and I just moved into this new place yesterday. I'm very, very tired, yes. If you guys watched my video that I posted a few weeks ago of my studio makeover, I did actually have like a little bit of a chatty bit at the beginning where I explained basically everything that's been going on in my life, why my life is chaos, and why I actually had to move out of that place and into a new one, this one. So if you didn't watch that, make sure to go give it a watch if you'd like. But basically, long story short, we had to move out of that old place with the really cool studio that you've been seeing videos from for the past year. And we've moved into this one now. And this here is going to be my new studio. I have officially downgraded a little bit in terms of space, but it'll, it's still like a really good studio size. It's perfect. I think the other studio was like absolutely massive for one person. So this I think is a, a nice, cute, cozy fit. We actually had a bit of a nightmare uh, when we got here. There was a double bed in this room that took up half of the room. We got here and we spent all evening yesterday basically having a meltdown. I'm like, what are we gonna do with this bed? Because we initially asked for it to get removed, but then it didn't get removed. There was a miscommunication and the landlord was basically like, yeah, if you wanna take it apart and store it, like go for it. And we're like, thanks. So we spent all morning undoing that bed and basically hiding its skeleton around the house. <sighs> My hands hurt a lot. But that is very exciting now because it means I can start building my new studio from the ground up again. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, we got sort of pink walls in this one, which is pretty cute. Uh, we also have this like weird coat hanger thing oh, situation going on here. I wanted to take it down, but honestly, the screws on it are so, so janky and old that I don't think I'd be able to put it back on when I left. So I think I'm gonna make use of it. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it might be my excuse to actually start doing apparel and t-shirts and having them hang up. So who's to say? So I actually had two different ideas for the floor plan of the studio. In both of them, it involves the trestle desk, uh, the white one being here, because that is where I'm gonna be doing like all my filming because it's right next to the window, so it's perfect. But then I was like, where do I put my standing desk? So it would either go here or over there because there's plugs in both sides. So I'm kind of leaning towards this side just because then I can completely fill up that wall with art and then this wall wouldn't be cut short by the door and then just have this area here for like shelving and storage. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I knew that I, would, I was gonna make a decision once I actually saw the space, but in my preliminary sketches, which you will probably see on screen now, <laughs> I had two different layout ideas. So let's put the flexi spot desk over there and then build the trestle desk right over here. So first things first, I had to set up my desks so that I could then sort of unpack things onto them. So I started off by just setting up this trestle desk over there where I said I was gonna put it underneath the window. And that was pretty easy because I kind of left the legs of it already set up. I just had to attach them to the tabletop. And then I had to move around some boxes so I could fit my gigantic standing desk from Flexi Spot over there on the left. So I just put the legs back onto the tabletop of my flexi spot desk. If you guys are interested in more stuff about the flexi spot desk, again, the video that I posted a few weeks back on my studio makeover has a lot more information about the desk and also info on how you can get your own. So once that was set up, ooh, <laughs> I knocked over my microphone <laughs> and then set up my desk in its place over there and it was pretty smooth sailing. It's a pretty heavy desk, so I was hoping I wouldn't have to move it again after putting it in place, fingers crossed. And now that I have two surfaces in this room, I can finally start to unpack some of the stuff, including my computer, which means that I can finally have stuff playing in the background while I unpack everything. 
And I just started slowly unboxing things and trying to get rid of as many boxes as possible so that I had room to bring in other furniture that I then would have room to put stuff on. It was um, a very interesting game of Tetris that I played for a few weeks where I was like, okay, I need to bring stuff in to organize stuff, but I don't have room to bring in the stuff because of all the stuff. So yeah. Next up, I decided to actually set up this little trolley that I bought a few months ago and then just never had time to like set it up. Oh. It doesn't, it literally does not say in the instructions that this goes inside this at all. And after off camera spending over an hour trying to figure out how to mount these two side handlebar thingies because the instructions did not specify that I had to like slot one into another. I thought that I had to like put one on top of each other because that's what the instructions said, but it's fine. Eventually my partner came over and just suggested I tried that and it worked. But yeah, look how cute this little trolley is. It's the perfect shade of lavender that matches all the cute like lavender things in my studio. It was right down my alley and I can't wait to put all my cute little art supplies on it. <laughs> Then, because I had this trolley set up, I could actually unpack some of the boxes that have some of my go-to art supplies. So, on the bottom here, I put markers, pens, sharpies, and anything marker related, and like my big set of colored pencils. On the middle one over here, I put mainly, again, another set of pe colored pencils, but mainly painting things. So I had my go-to watercolor pans and my gouache sets that I use the most, and then like any palettes and things like that. And I ended up also putting my little jar full of paintbrushes on here as well, as well as some masking fluid. And yeah, I was just kind of going through my art supplies box and just seeing where I had room uh, and just putting things sort of in their different categories. The top one I didn't really mention very much because I still had to find my pencil case and stuff in some of the boxes, so I didn't get to film that one. Okay, so I managed to get quite a few things done yesterday. I even managed to clear out enough space to bring my chair in, which is cool. So that table over there is going to be primarily like my filming table because it's got like all the natural light coming in from the window and stuff. And then I set up these shelves here, which um, usually um, have like all of my like small items shop stock over here on these lower shelves and then my Cricut. And then my printer is actually probably gonna go somewhere else. I think I'm, I'm thinking of getting like a, a storage sort of unit or like some other shelves to go over in this area because I've obviously got a lot more stuff here and actually in the rest of the house that need uh, storage. And it's mostly like shop stock, so like prints and books and things. And I need somewhere to store those things, so. <laughs> Yeah, and I think my printer will just go on those shelves as well because uh, whenever I have my printer on these shelves, they wobble quite a lot. So yeah, today I'm just going to try unpacking a little bit of this box, which is mainly shop stock, and just kind of put those over there for now so I can get rid of that box um, and then sort of make a little bit of sense of all this mess. <laughs> so I can bring yet um, some more boxes full of packing stuff or packaging things for my shop and sort of find a place for them in the meantime. So yeah, I just spent all morning pretty much unpacking the boxes that had all my shop stock, which were honestly the heaviest boxes because and they don't tell you how hard it is to move businesses when your half of your business is like art prints and boxes full of like stock like stickers and charms and things like that. So yeah, <laughs> they were really, really heavy, but thankfully the movers were amazing and managed to get them into our flat. So yeah, I was basically reorganizing my shop stock into their little organization boxes because I had to like package the, some of them separately so that they wouldn't get damaged in the move. And so finally I'm like actually putting them all in their little places and especially my stickers and stuff. It was so satisfying to like put them back into their little trays that 
makes them look so cute. And it was at this moment that I realized that I needed to make a lot more of those little cardboard trays, the ones that you just saw me put a bunch of stickers on, because I actually wanted to put all my charms and enamel pins into trays like that. So I actually ordered a bunch more of those sort of file organizers or whatever they're called, um, so that I can make some more on the next day and so that I can finish unpacking all my stock and organizing it into their proper spots. So as I said, I got a lot more of these file organizers. I have a whole other video uh, or studio vlog where I actually showed you how I made these. Um, so I'll try to find which studio vlog that was and link it in the description. But basically I just get these cardboard file organizers and then chop them down so that they are at, um, I think it's eight centimeters of height once they're like folded into shape. And then I use them for pretty much like all my tiny shop stock things. So enamel pins and stickers. And it's really cool because with the leftover cardboard, I can make little separators and dividing markers so that I can have more than one item per organizer. And then I always like putting the thing that's in the box, like on the front. So like a little pin, I'll just put one of the pins in the front so that it's just really cute and makes me just see what's in in that organizer make it really easy to decipher what's where and i saw this trick off of catnip studios she's been doing this technique of organizing shop stock for ages and i just saw her do it in some of her studio vlogs and i thought i definitely should do that as well Then I finally got to unpack my miniatures and my dioramas and I just put them on there for now on the windowsill until I had somewhere else to put them. And in my Amazon order, I also got this really cute vase that I'm going to put all of my little tulips in that you guys saw me get in the last studio video. And look how gorgeous that looks. It is a perfect little piece of decor. So easy and so effortless. So on the next day, one of my new shelves arrived and I got this really cool bamboo shelf organizer thing and it's like a really shallow shelf so it's really perfect to keep like all of my small shop stock things that I you just saw me make organizers for and it's just really good because it doesn't take up a lot of like depth into the studio. And yeah, it's just a really nice place to store a bunch of shop stock. And look just how beautifully satisfying that they fit on the shelf. That was honestly perfect. It was like they were made for these shelves. These organizers, I can fit like a perfect set of seven. Once I find the rest of my shop stock, I'm obviously going to fill out these shelves a little bit more. But for now, I'm really happy with them and they're super, super cute. So a few weeks later, I came back from visiting my family and I came back to some chaos. So I basically hit the ground running right the next day and got to organizing the studio a little bit more because I had to leave it in a bit of a mess, unfortunately. And I just started unpacking again and setting up more shelves so I could unpack more shop packaging stuff. And then I finally got a place to unpack all of this like small packaging stuff and also started unpacking all my big envelopes and my big boxes and stuff so that I could sort of start shoving them away <laughs> underneath my desk for a later time. I also got this really cool lamp that arrived finally that I was gonna put in that corner of, on the right over there. And it's a really cool, like sort of daylight lamp, but it's got like a bunch of different settings on it and the top of the lamp rotates so I can use it as like a desk lamp as well. 
It's really cute and it'll add a lot of really good atmospheric lighting in the winter months. Also, in that order, I got a new microphone, which I'm actually using to record this voiceover right now. And it is super cool. I got it recommended by um, a friend on Instagram. She's called The Greater Good on Instagram. And she actually recommended this microphone to me and I finally got it. It's super cool and definitely a lovely upgrade from my last one. And it's got these really mesmerizing lights. Like I get so hypnotized. And the next day I was waiting again for some more furniture to arrive so I could unpack a lot more stuff. So in the meantime, I started putting up all of my art prints over here on the wall. Since I had my desk placement where I wanted it now, I could start putting these up so that they perfectly framed my desk and my computer and things like that. I kind of just start off by putting the biggest prints that I have up first and then sort of trying to slot in the tinier prints in between them. And that's kind of my process for making this sort of collage looking randomly placed print wall. I've done this in the past four homes that I've been in, so I'm kind of a pro at it now. And then I've also got a lot of leftover space for if and when definitely I will get more prints from artists that I love and artists that inspire me to put up as well. And the next day my shelves arrived, the ones that I was waiting for. So I got these really cool sort of like metal shelves. They're very simple and they were honestly not that expensive from Ikea. And they're perfect for the area over there on the right that I was saving for them. Because again, they don't take up that much space into the studio, into the middle of the studio, but they have enough space on them that I could finally unpack everything else <laughs> that I was missing. And I had a place to put my Cricut, my printer, all of my like shop stock that is prints and sticker sheets and things like that also went over there. And finally, everything was starting to come into place. And I was very excited because I finally also had surfaces to decorate, which was super exciting. <laughs> and I also, in my IKEA order, got this cute little like wooden toolbox. It was so, so cute. I had to get it because right now, if you guys don't know, I like do little miniatures and I do like diorama kits and things like that. And right now, all of my supplies were just like in a crate. Um, just super messy and unorganized and yeah, a mess. So when I saw this cute little toolbox on Ikea, I just had to get it. It took me really not that long to set up and it opens up like this. And then I had, again, a wild good time just organizing all of my diorama supplies and tools and things into their little spaces. And I was just, oh, it really tickled my brain, honestly. Yeah, I thought I'd also film this for you because I know some of you like watching me organize things into little slots as well, so... And I enjoy watching these videos as well. If you guys didn't know, I do post some videos sometimes about making these miniature diorama kits, so I'll link the playlist down there if you want to watch some of them. But yeah, this toolbox is like surprisingly really spacious. I got to fit everything that was in like a really big crate that took up a lot of space and was like a bit of an eyesore into just this toolbox. And I still had a lot of room left for other stuff. So yeah, I was really, really happy with this purchase. And I think it looks so adorable when it's just on the shelf like this. And it keeps all my supplies nice and tidy. And of course, the final detail that I couldn't miss out on was putting up my neon sign. It looks so cool. I love it so much. And I also put up some prints around it while I was there. But it is now time to give you a tour. Hi, everyone. So the studio is finally set up. 
thankfully it has been uh, pretty much a month in the making but I did I was away for like two weeks out of that month but so yeah I finally managed to finish setting up everything in the studio everything is in its place so I'm very very excited to show you guys what the new studio looks like let's have a little tour so as soon as you walk in obviously you can see that I've got my main desk over here this is my um, standing desk that I showed you guys in the last studio makeover that I got from flexi spa as well as the chair is also from flexi spa it's a very nice very comfortable chair and this is where I do like all of my main work so I've got my computer my iPad set up I've got um, this little thing that you guys saw me set up it's like to hold my headphones and I've got this new microphone as well that you might have seen me set up it's super super cute it has like those gradient lights that you saw and it'll be super nice for streaming which I want to start doing again so yeah I'm thinking of doing my first stream again like this week and testing everything out so I'm very excited you also saw me set up like all of my art prints and stuff on this main wall because this is where I'll do like most of my creative work so obviously I want it to be nice and colorful and full of inspiration and then next to my desk here I've got these Kallax shelves that you saw in the previous studio they were on their side beforehand so I've changed the orientation of all of these like inserts and stuff so uh, that they fit an upright position and they fit so snug in there like the desk was already in place and then I tried to like shove the Kallax in there and it fit just right it was so satisfying <laughs> they just slid right in over here i've got like all of my diorama stuff and like my miniature making stuff that you guys saw me set up in this new like little craft box that's super cute uh, i've got some books over here sketch pads sketchbooks that i'm not using some extra copies of some of my shop items and then on top of here i've got some miniatures that i've done in the past that are complete and displaying them as well as this weird coat rail that you guys saw initially when we moved in. I'm thinking of getting some really nice hanging plants for this area. So this bit is still a bit unfinished because I do want to get some nice like macrame hanging plants and sort of decorate this area a little bit and make use of this rail. But for now, I've just put these fake vines up um, to match the rest of the fake vines. And over here on the side, I have this little bamboo shelf that is very, very helpful for like shop stock. So I've got like all of my like small shop stock items. So pins, charms, sticker packs, things like that, all sort of on this shelf and very easily accessible, more so than I did before. So yeah, and then I've got all my new supplies here for making press on nail sets. I actually did my first ever attempt at a press on nail set the other day it was really exciting so yeah that's like some of my supplies here and there is just you know art supply storage so you know painting stuff canvases and like my little tech drawer full of all my uh, little techie things and camera stuff inks paints crafty bits just a lot of storage and then behind my desk i've got these new shelves that you saw me set up recently and they are so so lovely so helpful because i can add, now have like a bunch more stock of like books and prints and like basically like you know stuff that takes up a lot of space i can have all of it just on those two shelves and then finally have like my Cricut, my printer, my printer paper, and then just so much more space. I have like this full extra shelf at the top that's just got sort of the core bits at the moment, but it's still got extra storage that I can use if I ever need it. At the moment, I just have like my YouTube plaques up there, some cute little decor, and I'm really happy with these shelves. They were like really cheap as well from Ikea and very easy to set up. So I'm very, very happy with them. And yeah, right next to these shelves, I've got some more wall decor, my little neon sign that looks so cute. And I think it'll be a really nice backdrop to any like streams that I do. I wanted it to look really nice and cute. So it had like, you know, some, some interest to look at in the background of streams. Next to it, I've got more <laughs> shop stock. Those two boxes are literally stock full of um, pencil cases. And then I've got some like packaging stuff over here, my Patreon packaging things. And then this table here, right in the middle of the window is going to be basically my filming 
table and packaging table so that's why it's got nothing on it <laughs> it is super clear at the moment and um, yeah it's a white table that's why I like filming on white tabletops and also it's got this beautiful direct sunlight perfect for filming so yeah that's why the, I decided to put this table here and keep it, you know, empty. On the shelves of this table, I've got packaging, packaging, more packaging on the side, and then some more like folders with paper and more paper pads and extra bits over here, and then more packaging things down here so that everything is nice and accessible when I sit here and package shop items. Then over here, we've got my new stationery cart that I am super excited about. You guys saw me set this up as well. And this is gonna be very helpful for, you know, not only just storing my supplies, but keeping them like all in one spot that I can roll around the, the room if and when I need it. So yeah, very cute little cart again from Amazon. I will uh, link everything in the description box of the video. But yeah, it just kind of fits really perfectly in that little corner there right next to where I do work here and where I would film over here. On the windowsill, still a work in progress, but I've just got things for like, you know, that I'm still working on. So this is the current miniature I'm working on right now uh, from a kit. I've got my label printer, which I will, whenever I need to print off labels, will set up on the table here because it's a very easy thing to set up. And then got my corner rounder machine and some little extra bits. That is the studio, pretty much. Yeah, it was definitely a little bit of a struggle trying to figure out how to do everything because it is a smaller room than I had before. So there was a lot of Tetrising that I had to like figure out and a lot of trial and error, but I'm really happy with the final result. I think it ended up looking really, really cute. Everything has its place and it's nice and organized. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, I also meant, did forgot to mention in that corner, there's that light over there that I got that's really cool. But yeah, it's um really nice ambient light and then the top of the light can actually spin around so I can use it as like lighting for my table if I ever need it. And yeah, it's got different like lighting settings and warmth settings and things like that. So I just needed, you know, a little bit of light over there if I ever did work in the dark, which I probably will when it comes to winter. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, really happy with a new studio. Super excited to finally get to like hit the ground running and work in the new studio. Finally, I feel like I've moved in and I can start working in my new workspace. Yeah, we've got lots to do. It is currently Monday and I have a lot of work to do in the next few weeks because I actually want to launch my shop again. My shop has been closed since early May. So I do have a lot of new bits that I need to finish designing and get sent off for the new shop update. And there's some really, really exciting things that I can't wait to show you guys that I'm, are gonna be on the new shop update. You'll get to see all the behind the scenes for that. The things that I've already sent off to print are some new sticker sheets that I've designed, new prints that I actually um, debut at NCN London Comic Con back in May uh, that are now gonna be available on the shop, some new stickers, and then some sketchbooks that I've actually been working on for almost a year now. And I finally got like the first sample the other day and I am obsessed. So let me show you because I showed my patrons um, a few weeks ago when I got the sample but now that I finally approved the final version and I'm getting them printed in bulk I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. So the sketchbooks are going to be a A4 square sketchbook so a 21 by 21 centimeter sketchbook and the ribbon's gonna be a different color to this this was just like the sample cover printing. So this is the design of the cover there is a little bit of a printing error on this one but we fixed that in the second sampling so this is the design of the sketchbook it's super cute it's got this little girl on the front and she's like watching the sky and stuff on this hill and then in the back there's this cute little kitty and this was the printing error that I mentioned but we did fix this um, and it will be fixed in the final printings which I've already seen and they look so much better because I changed the colors a little bit so they were a bit more vibrant and then yeah this is the sketchbook it's got really thick paper 
perfect for different mediums and sketching and things. Got a little pocket in the back, of course, and a little page, you know, page saver, page whatever it is, <laughs> ribbon, and obviously an elastic closure that is going to be purple lavender in the final, as well as the ribbon. I'm very excited. This is just the sample. Again, they are gonna look even better when the final versions come in and I'm very excited for you guys to see them. So that's just one of the very exciting things that I've been working on. The other thing is press on nail sets. I actually had the idea to do this um, a few weeks ago because I love doing my nails. You guys know I've started doing a lot of content about nails stuff on my socials and I've gotten a lot of really good reactions and like feedback from you guys that you really love nails and you know nail content nail art and things like that so i thought why not make press on nails that i could sell to you guys and you guys could like have my own it's like a, almost like you like getting going to a piper's art nail salon super cute right so i put up some like polls and stuff on my instagram asking if you guys would even be interested in that and i got really good feedback so i got all the materials <laughs> and i'm gonna be working on some of my first sets. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on how to like package and send press on nail sets, which also means I'm uh, just designing some little like how to apply cards and like care instructions and stuff um, that I need to send off to print. And they will all be like handmade by me. They're not gonna be like mass produced. So each nail set will be like super custom. I can't wait for you guys to see them. Anyways, got lots to do. Got some other work as well that I'm doing in the background besides all this, um, including my Patreon and you know YouTube and everything else. I'm also working on a very secret project that I can't reveal to you yet, but it is so big and so exciting. So yeah, let's get to work.